Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we gather to reflect on a message of great significance. Our Lady has imparted words that resonate with urgency and hope. As we navigate these turbulent times, let us anchor our faith in the steadfast promises of God. Our Lady's message serves as both a warning and a beacon of hope, guiding us through the uncertainties that lie ahead. The time has come for every prophecy to be fulfilled, for I am the Lord. If I say it, it will happen. There will be no more delay. Ezekiel 12.25 These words remind us that God's timing is impeccable and His plans are unchanging. Recently, we've witnessed events that have profoundly impacted us. July 2024 was a month filled with unexpected occurrences, but we must prepare ourselves for what is to come in August 2024. This upcoming month will be marked by significant changes affecting everyone on earth. Our Lady's message emphasizes the importance of repentance and faith. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7.14 This verse calls us to genuine repentance and transformation. The Holy Spirit has revealed that August will be a time of accelerated events and prophetic fulfillment. For those who choose to repent and turn to God, there is hope and salvation. However, for those who continue to mock and deny God's word, judgment is inevitable. On July 21st, 2024, I received a profound message from the Holy Spirit. Before sharing this revelation, let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we express our gratitude for this sacred moment. We appreciate your divine word and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Guide us and speak to the hearts of your people. May this message serve as a confirmation and bring about incredible testimonies. May this message provide the guidance and direction needed in their lives. We ask for these blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Starting from the day when Donald Trump was attacked in July, significant spiritual shifts have occurred. The world witnessed the American flag taking the shape of an angel, an eagle, and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. This divine intervention saved many from disaster. Shortly after, on July 16, 2024, a meteor flew over the Statue of Liberty in New York, causing the city to shake. Similarly, on July 19, Chile experienced a powerful earthquake. These events are signs of God's hand at work. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands, Psalm 19.1. On July 21st, during the full moon, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me about the upcoming month of August and its potential impact on the world. The Holy Spirit revealed that the nations of the Lord will continue to experience shaking without pause, leading to extreme conditions. This period of great transition requires us to repent of our sins as the days will be accelerated. Scientists have noted the Earth's inner core's reverse rotation, indicating that time is indeed moving faster. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into, Matthew 24, 43. We must remain vigilant and prepared. As we step into August 2024, we must be ready for a whirlwind of prophetic fulfillments. Attacks on the church will intensify and governments will increase their interventions. Scoffers will become more vocal, but we must stand firm in our faith. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 5.10. The rise of the Antichrist will become more evident, marked by deceit and false promises. However, those filled with the Holy Spirit will recognize the signs and stand against this dark power. The economic collapse in developed nations such as the USA, Europe, Russia, and the United Kingdom 
will bring about financial upheaval. In contrast, Eastern countries like India, China, and Australia will see economic strengthening. This shift is part of God's divine plan, realigning the world's powers. The wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous, Proverbs 13, 22. We must trust that even in turmoil, God is in control and working for our good. The events of August 2024 are a buildup to a great revival and significant prophetic events. This month will be pivotal, filled with shocks and revelations. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Isaiah 43, 19. Each day will bring new signs and wonders, confirming the prophet's words and the urgency of our times. We are called to repentance and a deeper commitment to God. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Acts 3.19 The window of grace is closing quickly, and we must be on fire for God, fully dedicated to His purposes. For those who repent, salvation is at hand. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. Psalm 103.8 Let us not be anxious about the coming month. Instead, take these words to the Lord in prayer and seek His guidance. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, 7 Keep your eyes focused on God, and He will guide you through these times. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, grateful for this day you have made. We lift our voices to thank you for the mighty works of your hands, for the way you have shaped this nation from its very heart. You, O Lord, call for the waters and the land, orchestrating all of nature to be as it is. You declare liberty and justice to be the cornerstone of this land, and you brought forth the flag that symbolizes the stripes of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for those who love and serve you, for those you have called to be a light in this world. Through them, you bring healing to the broken hearts, souls, and minds. Healing comes from the stripes of Jesus Christ, and love flows from your very heart. As we look ahead to the coming month of August 2024, we sense the urgency and monumental changes that are about to unfold. We brace ourselves for the acceleration of days and the fulfillment of your prophecies at an unprecedented pace. We know that attacks on the church will increase, but we stand firm in faith knowing that you are our protector. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. Father, as the world begins to see the Antichrist more clearly, we pray for your discernment and wisdom. Let your people recognize the signs and stand against the deceit and false promises of this dark figure. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Matthew 24, 24. We ask for your guidance as economies collapse and as the economies of Eastern countries rise. We trust in your divine plan and know that even in the midst of turmoil, you are in control. Lord, we declare that the church will rise in power and influence during these challenging times. As the foundations of the world are shaken, may your unshakable kingdom be revealed. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Hebrews 12, 28. Let the church be a beacon of hope and a source of strength for those who are lost and seeking answers. May we shine the light of Christ into the darkness and be a testimony of your glory. We repent of our sins, Father, and turn back to you, acknowledging that the window of grace is closing quickly. 
If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 we commit to being on fire for you, fully dedicated to your purpose. For those who mock or ignore you, we pray for a change of heart before it is too late. Father, we listen to the words of the Holy Spirit and commit to staying rooted in your word. As we enter August 2024, we remain vigilant and alert, encouraging one another and building each other up in faith. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing, 1 Thessalonians 5.11. We look forward to the day of your return, ready to stand firm in our faith until the very end. We thank you for your mercy, compassion, and love, and we celebrate the victories you have already won and the triumphs that are yet to come. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.